or a new and different perspective every week on LEGO sets, news, media, and more, you're listening to the BCC Podcast. Today is Sunday, March 15th of 2020, and you're listening to episode 224 of the BCC Podcast. I am LQ. Today we're going to be discussing the recently announced LEGO Super Mario, as well as the LEGO Sonic 10,000 Supporter LEGO Ideas Project. I'm sure that'll go places. And the rumored LEGO Harry Potter Collectible Minifigure Series 2. And joining me today is Maluris. Well, I just I want to talk about those Harry Potter rumors because I need certain mini I figures. Actually, I haven't read the article yet. I only saw the title. Yeah, but I want certain mini figures that aren't on this list, and I'm. I told you I got like twenty Harry Potter mini figures for fifty cents each. Yes, you you have told me this. And Leo. I felt such vinegar in your voice when you're talking about Sonic. Why is that? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you, you seemed a bit sour mentioning the like that'll go places. Oh, well because it breaks Lego Ideas guidelines. <laughs> um, I see. Yeah. Again. And Clenda. I am also here, and I am also looking at these sets. Fascinating. And yeah. finally, Orion. Super Mario 2! <laughs> Yahoo! Let's go! Now you know where all my energy went. <laughs> it was leached out of me. Brian, are you wearing a plunger on your face? <laughs> what? Leo, stop what? referencing stuff no. for the podcast that barely has context when I'm, we're talking I'm, about it. I'm not... <laughs> I, no, I don't have context for that. <laughs> it was the Garfield without Garfield comic I posted. Ooh, oh. Is that what that was? I still don't know if that was a real Garfield. I think that one was. Mm. Should we, we should have a game where we just say, guess, is this a real Garfield comic strip? <laughs> that would be an entertaining game. Well, forget <laughs> Lego podcast. podcast. Right now we're doing Garfield without Garfield. <laughs> Can we just play a Neek Island Assault again? <laughs> no. No, I'm never doing that again. That was a disaster. <laughs> no. It, well, it nearly for... killed me. It didn't go well for Leo. Yeah, but that, that was Leo. No one else knows goal. that. He meant... LQ mentioned it in the video. Oh, yeah, all right. Well. All right, let's start off with the smaller news today. Let's get right into... New Lego Ideas project reached uh, 10,000 yeah, 10, supporters, and it is a Sonic Green Hill Zone, or Sonic Mania Green Hill Zone to be specific. What's been up with Lego Ideas? Doesn't it feel like forever since we've gotten a new set? Uh, it feels that way, yeah. Not especially. Yeah. I mean, they've been I confirming the a lot of stuff, station. haven't they been? Yeah, the Space Station came out earlier this um, January, didn't it? Or February? But that was from the poll. It wasn't a normal review. It was, but I think it still counts in the, um, the cycle of things. We'll see. They probably made room and for if it. If it still counts in the cycle, then that means something just misses its turn in the cycle. <laughs> well, I think that's the risk you want to take with this. So, here's the thing I was talking about earlier, bringing this up. I don't know that this actually qualifies, since LEGO Sonic has been a thing before. Well, even if it did qualify, is it even good? <laughs> um... <laughs> I'd say it's that's actually so. a really I'm, good set. I actually really like yeah. the Eggman. Like, I don't like the Eggman, but I like other aspects. Uh, I Are think you talking it's... about the egg, brick-built Eggman, or are you talking about the Robotnik Mac? I'm ta- talking about the brick-built Eggman. I like the shoes! But the, 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 mech, is, the mech is what gets me, though. I like that one. Yeah. The mech is fine. The I don't know, the mech feels really... I like it a lot, the colorful... See sort of hero factory parts. It, it on feels it. like oh. it comes out of a video game. Well, it does. <laughs> yeah, that's but that's, no, that's but the point, which that. means it does it, its job well. And you know, I mean, I I really like how well built what, what everything it? looks. It's just yeah, it looks really solid. Yeah. What's with the baby Sonics? Yeah. Those are birds. 
Do you they, not? Uh, just... Did you never play the original Sonic game? No, I've no, I'm not a gamer. I've never. Orion has hardly played any video That's games, true. and yeah. like every video game he's played has been the exact same game. All he does is play an Ike Island well, assault. <laughs> couple of them, yeah, for sure. But they look, they do look like little baby Sonics. <laughs> yeah. So we will see where this goes. Uh, I forget what else has reached 10,000 supporters in this wave because it wasn't the Bionic one. Okay, yeah. It was Mary the Poppins, the, the Cybertruck, Untitled Goose Game, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Train Station, Wait, there's an untitled SpaceX Goose Falcon game? 9. Heck yeah. <laughs> you, you're really out of touch. Wow, okay. I, I, how Mini many figure scale Project Gemini, Retro Bowling Alley, Indiana Jones Trilogy, Bricks and Looms. Wow, it does not have much competition. No, <laughs> not really. I, I do hope Chitty Chitty Bang Bang goes places, though. I like that. Listen, Leo, if Mary Poppins doesn't have anything, Chitty Chitty yeah. Bang Bang, the cheap ripoff of trying to capitalize what? off of Mary Poppins. Cheap? How dare you? I loved that movie growing up. The thing I can't I mean, stand about it is, is up, that most of that like movie it? doesn't happen, though. It's like I... Joker, but better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not uh, man, that's just the kids that are wrong. Car. That's kind of sick. I like yeah, it. Yeah, see? I, I, the build I was for that more of a Herbie kid. Good. Yes. Uh, yeah, true. But Herbie I didn't I just remember fly. that scene where, like, the guy who played Mr. Banks from Mary Dick Poppins Van Dyke. shoved a ton of whipped cream and cappuccino or whatever into Herbie and that he didn't run. I thought that was really <laughs> No, <weird>. no. Those, <laughs> no. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke wasn't in Herbie. What are you talking no, about? Not Dick Van Dyke, the guy who plays Mr. Banks. <laughs> Tom Hanks? No, oh, Mr. Banks. <laughs> I was thinking. Why was I thinking of Bert for some reason? Yeah, no. you're right. Oh no! I don't know. It's like it's late. I haven't watched Herbie. In don't years. say the 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 virus word though. YouTube doesn't like that. Does the, it not? The, the lung power. We're sicken. already demonetized. We can say coronavirus. No, let's call it. Uh, the can we say bad here? words? Yeah, we can. No, okay. no, you can say bad words, but just mask them by saying coronavirus in place of them. The YouTube also dislikes it when we mention ISIS on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Do you think Chitty Chitty Bang Bang worked for ISIS at one point? <laughs> I, I mean, far from hey, Sonic. it's been a this long time. This is why we never got that past a thousand out. subscribers, guys. Yeah, we are we did, past. We're way past a thousand subscribers. Oh, yeah, we're well, way past. <laughs> well, How okay. many subscribers are we at? Like... At 1,200? Like 1,070? What I, what I want to know, though, is who, who is the schmuck who put Tesla's Cybertruck on ID? Yeah, that's, that's freaking me out a little. <laughs> the thing, yeah, is, the thing is, now... You bet, it, I bet Elon Musk just did it's that It's still himself. hideous. <laughs> I'm surprised more famous people don't just put their products out in LEGO ideas. Well, they probably would get way more commissions if LEGO approached them more than 1%. <laughs> If you're going to do something about Tesla, at least make it Atomic Robo. <laughs> okay, that's fair. So, yeah, that's is. a thing. Congratulations to Sonic. You probably won't go places. I'm sure it'll do something. Like, like, Where, well, whatever was, it does, it'll go fast. It probably Sonic was limited to... Uh, yeah. of the movie. It was limited to Lego Dimensions, though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sonic was in that, but... I'm sure all the rest of us take the license for this. Well, we will see, I guess. I don't know. I they, I feel like LEGO Ideas does not want to do something if they've already used the license previously. Except for Disney That's stuff. Why... They love Disney. Well, I mean, Disney's got all the money, so... Well, okay, what Disney property had they already been making sets for that they made a LEGO Ideas set? What? Like, what the LEGO <laughs> Ideas set was already... Uh, like something that Lego had done before, like a theme that Lego had already done. I mean, and he, he just destroyed Mal right there. This is confusing <laughs> me because it's like right now the Lego idea sets, it's a Mickey Mouse stuff, it's a Winnie the Pooh stuff. Winnie the Pooh has, well, he had Duplo. Yeah, a while but ago, that was an actual mainline. a really long time ago. I'm that, still kind of There's never been mainline Lego needed. Mickey Mouse. Well, they made the uh, Lego Disney Castle, which was uh, had Mickey. Yeah, but that's in not it. in the same line. That's a t totally different property. Okay. Then, in which case, wouldn't that have 
been proof that they're doing multiple Disney things. I never said they weren't doing multiple Disney the things. What? We also got that separate idea set, didn't we, for the black and white Mickey Mouse? Uh, That's the one we're talking about. That's the yeah. only Mickey yeah. Mouse idea set, and actually the only dedicated Mickey Mouse set, besides the old Mickey Mouse sets that were around the St. Thomas Fabu land. Which was also like along 90s. the same lines of the Winnie Did the Pooh stuff. Did you just say stuff. Fabu Land? Yeah. Fabu Land. Not Fabuland? Isn't it Fabu Land? No. It would be I Fabuland because it's can't fabulous. Remember. The commercials say Fabuland. Whatever. Wait, there's commercials? <laughs> yes. I, I've talked to you about this before. You know, what? All the promotional material has the for the British have you know, speaking in posh accent. Well, I don't trust like commercials on pronunciations they made me pronounce uh liwa's name wrong for years i'm still going with lua <laughs> i just always assume that there's no lewa correct pronunciation weird. no there is a correct one greg confirmed there's a correct way i he has well, no power over me hey Does listen greg with greg vakama vakama uh, yeah, yeah he does in his story also it's greg is audio. like oh those canonical voices we have in the movies, those are headcanon. So it's whatever you think. Shouldn't that be the same with the pronunciation, son? Pronunciation. No, because the movies are wrong in a lot of places. The movies like, technically uh, like aren't Star canon. Wars. Yeah, the well, Bionicle movies technically are not canon. The novelizations the novelizations are canon, yeah. The, the but the movies, movies are not are canon. Like a loose reading. It's more like, <laughs> more like guidelines to the actual, <laughs> the actual, <laughs> the actual canon. canon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, and the Vakuma thing, yes, he does do that. Well, that's more of an enunciation than a pronunciation thing. Oh, don't get nitpicky with me. <laughs> weren't, weren't you one of, wasn't it was you and LQ who sat down and listened to all of Greg's serials? Well, I we mean. We started to. Started well, to. we, we were, re- yeah, that was, man, that was years ago. Well, we didn't listen to all of them. I mean, I would already listen to We all listened to like four <laughs> chapters of Samad's Tale and that's it. Mm. Yeah, which is still pretty good. It is good. Is that? By the way, did you guys know that the guy who voices uh, Akar in uh, The Legend Reborn is Jim Cummings, who voices yes. Winnie the Pooh? Yes, in every yeah, movie? we all know this. Yes. Okay. And the Shredder. Yeah, and the guy that vo- voices, who is it, Barracks? Yep. Matrix? I forget what his Barrix. name is. Barrix. He is also Obi-Wan Kenobi in The Clone Wars. Yes. Yep. He's a lot. Anytime there was another guy in an actors, animated movie I like... just, just watched. Who, I can't remember right now, but it was also Jim Cummings. I'll have to ask right, my well, sister. I changed the overlay a while ago. So let's move over to Harry Potter. Yeah. Okay. Let's tackle. all. No. So, rumored to get a second Harry Potter collectible minifigure series apparently this year. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't say anything about this year, but this has been rumored for a long time, actually, and Ford was very disappointed that it didn't come out last year. We actually didn't get any Harry Potter sets this year, either, did we? I don't, I don't believe so. think so, no. I can't remember if there's anything that was shown at Toy Fair later or not. I don't think so. Now, I would take these with a grain of salt, because remember the last series where we were supposed to get all the house ghosts in the minifigure series? Oh, uh, yeah. That didn't happen. Yeah, so... But this list comes to us from... The Brick Fan, and let's see what he's saying. We've got here Professor Sprout with Mandrake. That'd be boring because we already have Neville with a Mandrake. <laughs> Luna Lovegood with Lion Hat. New Mold? Yeah. Nah. Professor Albus Dumbledore, Chamber of Secret Virgins with Fox. Be It'd be cool to get a Fox. It would be. Dumbledore's Office would be a good set if they'd make it a more expensive set. Like a middle expensive set, kind of. Kingsley Shacklebolt. Who is, is that this? the guy that wears the fez? Yep. Okay. Wait, what, I, what book is he from? He's, I think, first introduced Order of the Phoenix. He's one of the members. He? No, he's earlier than that. At least in the movies, he's earlier than that, because he's, like, always with Budge. Yeah. I haven't, mm-hmm. I haven't read the book since 20, 2012, I think. Have you ever seen the movies, Leo? I've seen them up to Azkaban. Azkaban's so no. Good, Whoa, wait, you've never seen past Azkaban. Correct. This is like my well, life. Before. I would two Leo out more, but yeah. Why? Mal just like saw them last year. No, two so. years. No. The Okay, the <laughs> movies I got finished with a long time ago. 
like three years at this point or two years. I, I don't know. But oh, yeah. did you ever read the books? I read oh, I the first uh, three books and then dropped off. But then this year or last year, time is relative. Um, I just finished That's not them. That's the point. Up all you're, on the, a, uh, you're on a consistent reference frame, Mal. You can't use that excuse. No. I tried getting into the books, but I don't know. I didn't like them. I got burnt much. out after the seventh book. <laughs> I just couldn't take it anymore. Why, Leo? There so are no after more books it. after the seventh. <laughs> Did you say it's too depressing? <sighs> what? Uh, Leo said he couldn't get back into Harry Potter for the seventh book because it was too depressing. Well, I, I there are the no more book. books in seven. I finished the seventh oh. book and I was depressed. Oh, I, like I, I, right, I keep thinking eight because there's eight movies. I like the seventh well, book. Oh, well, aren't there eight books? Because of the I know that a lot of people child. do like the seventh book. Cursed Child it's... doesn't count. <laughs> Cursed Child does not That's count. That's a terrible, terrible thing. Didn't Greg say it counted, though? <laughs> no. No. In fact, I bet if we asked Greg, he'd say it didn't count. Greg is, better Greg is probably it, like, what's a Harry Potter? The Cursed Potter? Child <laughs> actually breaks the established Harry Potter canon, so it doesn't count. At aren't, several points. Aren't all the characters, like, black or something in it? <laughs> Two? No, we're not even talking about that. Just the book itself. It, like, it totally changes some characters' personalities, like that one guy's dad. And it also changes, okay. you know, other things, like establish time rules works. on how things work in the magical world which would oh, break the everything thing about, like if wizards just like peeing their pants or the magic <laughs> no that, no, was, that was just no, that was revealed tweet. by jk oh okay i thought man if that's in the book that's epic <laughs> you know what really disturbs me about that isn't so much that it's a thing so much as it why would they wait and use the bathroom first then make it disappear where they shouldn't even have to use the bathroom that's just wasting time <laughs> Just use a spell they just so they like don't it. have they to. They like having all, the power to just all about like expediency their, <laughs> their pants in public. They just like that. Bruh. I showed up and too sober to If that system is working, why stop? I mean, if like if I could poop my pants in public and then just make it disappear <laughs> without any trace, I mean, I'd do it. What has this episode become? I mean, he has a point. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you can do it, why not? Like poor. Just because you, know? you can doesn't mean you they should do it. They also, must be. if you have said, that kind of power, you must use it responsibly. Also, so, wait, that, going the, the actually the main thing gives you way more time because, like, think about it. If you're at work or whatever doing oh, your job, uh, you have to get up to go to the bathroom. If you well, go you to can the bathroom, take, like, a little mini break too, as it, well. And see, that work. The thing you can't do that. If I don't get to take a break if I need to use the bathroom at work. I gotta use the bathroom when I already have a scheduled. Break. Some other people, like people with horrible, overworked office jobs or something. I don't know. But did <laughs> did you hear that thing about how all like so many companies are readjusting toilet seats to be at a different degree angle so it becomes too uncomfortable to sit on after like one minute? Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, so I'm not sure what company would actually invest that much money to do it. I mean, yeah, I'd rather just poop my pants and so the next mini figure sit on that toilet. No, no, wait, one more thing about that. Actually, the real thing that bothers me the most about that is that she said Hogwarts plumbing was installed later, even though the Chamber of Secrets was built around the sink. Mm-hmm. We so still maybe need it a was... sink, like maybe like a washing area. Like maybe it was a shower room before. In, in yeah, they general. do have. They did have sinks before they had indoor plumbing, but it was more like a basin thing. But no, the like thing is that you went down the drain the to the Saint Chamber of Secrets. It was the, where all the sinks drained into. Was the Chamber of Secrets? Yeah, but they like they'd still need that feature. Like you still want sinks. If it was a wash basin, you didn't have drains. You threw the water out the window. No, I'm I not know. But like, Henry Potter I mean, anymore. you could still have plumbing without toilets. They would have just added toilets later. For but some she said reason. indoor plumbing completely, oh, not just toilets. In that case, yeah, that's kind of dumb. It, well, I mean, technically, you could say plumbing if it just refers to sinks, but I, I don't think she just meant sinks. And at that point, again, if they already had rooms dedicated to just sinks, why bother <laughs> toilets? Double why doors. Why do they even like, need a toilet? Harry Potter the tour. And Harry, this is the sink room. <laughs> what? Use it wisely, Harry. <laughs> There's been a widespread panic going around with the coronavirus. You think it's because no. some muggle pooped their pants next to a wizard? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> well, I guess this means they don't need to stock my toilet paper. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like we... <laughs> it's it's man, it's it's fricked. Why are they doing this? All right, and then next up, <laughs> oh, the, we have interlude. another Neville Longbottom. <laughs> what an interlude! With the Monster Book of Monsters. I feel like we already got a Book of Monsters in I, one Harry Potter set. Yes, yeah, so oh, it was an Neville yeah. Longbottom wrote that book and titled it to the Monster Book of Monsters. Book of Monsters. The next one is even stranger. Darn, that's a pun. And I regret everything. <laughs> Bellatrix was strange in prison outfit. Ooh. Out of all the Harry Potter. Mini figures you can make, like the house ghost, it's which we so still specific. need. Uh, no, it's strange. It's, I would say we need peeves, but Harry, Lego Harry Potter actually does have peeves, anyways. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they True. pee their pants. And then, <laughs> dang it! <sighs> I had it going. But... Why am I Harry Potter with advanced potion making? Yes, the mm. mini figure we need. <laughs> Sounds like, like an upgrade for like some video game character or something. Like it does sound like DLC. Normal Harry Potter. That's what minifigure packs are I making. <laughs> but and moaning Myrtle. Yay! What's she doing? What does she have? There's no advanced potion making. There's no book. There's no prison outfit. But no if she's hat? actually a ghost, you know that that might be an improvement over mm. non ghost And then. What is figure. Grip Hook? Do I, I'm am I stupid? What is Grip Hook? I don't remember. Grip, grip Hook's hook, actually. the uh, <laughs> goblin who. Uh... Oh yeah, that one is played by. Isn't he played by? Um, darn it! What's his name? Uh, Warwick Davis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And is this the the goblin who runs the banks? Yeah. Not yeah. runs the banks. He's just. Well, he's the clerk. He's a clerk. He shows um, Harry Potter his vault in the first movie slash book and then, then on the last book die. he's like yeah. yeah I want the sword of Gryffindor and then he ran off and then in the so, movies he died but in the so book clerk. it's not uh it's not said ex yeah but I think he did probably die. yeah especially yeah. since JK Rowling is you know a part was a part of the movie stuff so you know but not the play or her twitter account because her mind is and soul are gone at this point. i think after the seventh <laughs> book you know she gave up on harry potter and then no one else did so you know why would, she just like, kept it after... going for the merchandise but why though like you would have so much money from that like so much oh she she has plenty of money. she does but why like why would you need to continue? If I wrote a great, successful series of books, I would just not do anything else with that or pretty much anything. I would just, I don't know. Yeah. Make I a don't, sink room. I don't know if you're the best role model there, Ryan. Shoot. Well, Ryan, you don't do anything with your life anyway. <laughs> uh, but at least I didn't spend all my money on a sink room and bad Twitter opinions. Oh, wait, I did half of that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah. All right, and that's all we have so far. I hope we get Snape. So Snape. What, what I want is like Snape's death minifig. <laughs> yes, Perfect. just like a tear coming from Snape's eye. <laughs> Sad S Snape with <laughs> tear up uh, upgrade with the tear advance advanced tear making. I thought of my mother. I cried. I cried. <laughs> yeah, they should have a puppet Harry minifigure. <laughs> puppet Snape. get it because he was a puppet you know it's metaphorical <laughs> yes orion yes good job all right let's move on to uh, lego super mario so this was super revealed <laughs> and i'm disappointed i could tell <laughs> i think it looks kind of neat but not anything special uh, I'm, it, no it's very no. it's very special <laughs> and that's the problem <laughs> Is it too special? <laughs> uh, okay, it, it, this might not be all of it, but as far as we know so far, it's not at all uh, anything uh, like normal brick built and minifigure sets. But it is a very weird new concept with a Mario that makes no sense in how he looks whatsoever, actually, with a square <laughs> head. I, I kind of like weird 
impractical new stuff though isn't that what Nintendo they they if they innovate and make all this kooky weird stuff i thought yeah. nintendo yes, but... wanted a lego a normal lego line though. yeah nintendo wanted normal lego mario actually and this oh, was negotiated really? to do this that's weird at least that's I what i heard that that's what it's been reported as but huh. yeah and it's so it's a digital mario that connects with what i assume is nfc tags and certain bricks Probably. from what and i can then he makes noise what i uh read it uh, basically reads the uh, color of the bricks through like oh, okay. a so it's light like... sensor, essentially. Oh. Hmm. Though in the all these pictures we have, there are a lot of these sets that you'd be combining, so I don't believe there'd be room for minifigure-based sets. Which is really disappointing, because I've wanted LEGO Nintendo for years, and we still don't have Nintendo minifigures, and that's really disappointing. But this could be like opening the way so, for us to eventually get some. Uh, what I'm thinking is that this is basically kind of like how Minecraft sort of was slowly introduced to us through like uh, halfway. They kind of had those really ideas strange sets. micro builds. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. what do you? Yeah, kind of expanded from there. We have then hold. real sets, and then after that, there were sort of those like Minecraft mega builds with like the weird Steve and all that stuff. And I'm thinking, okay, this is kind of first wave, one IP. It's just Mario right now. I think that in the future, we'll probably get more Nintendo, more Legend of Zelda, and all the other stuff that you would expect like from a Nintendo. Metroid. And then that would, you know, get us into minifigure zone, which is where I want it to be. But, you know, I, I'd I rather have think... something than nothing, you know? I, I'd be kind of, you know, honestly a little tempted to get it. Like, I do think, like, even though if it isn't a minifigure, I think it still looks, like, kind of cute. It's interesting. It does you know, look interesting. I, I do interesting. like this little... Uh, quote here when they're asking how did you al arrive at the specific look of lego mario and he says uh th they were very specific about what colors we could use for example we tried him with a lego yellow skin but it just didn't seem to look good on the figure <laughs> oh, why though because that's totally no no <laughs> trust me it would not look good if no no, no i mean why'd they even try it because that goes against you know like the modern way lego does things <laughs> Well, then it says that Nintendo didn't want them to use the yellow skin. Mm. Well, yeah, exactly. But Lego doesn't use yellow skin for licensed characters anymore, anyways. Yeah. But they wait. Maybe I misunderstood what you said. That you didn't want them to try it. No, I don't want them to. I'm wondering why Lego even tried it because Lego doesn't do that. You know, their licensed well, themes I'm like Harry Potter and a Star brand Wars. New thing. They were just going to mess around and and like spitball. Like I assume even behind closed doors they spitball making stuff yellow or whatever. It's possible. Then Mario would have the same color skin as Bowser, and we can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. If they made Bowser yellow, it look kind of or Bowser's supposed to be yellow Bowser is yellow i know that that's what i was about to say because like oh his face would match with the rest of his body they're like no wait a minute yeah <laughs> <laughs> most people's faces match the rest of their body unless you're wearing clothes in this one it looks like he's wearing clothes i mean I so. well i should hope so yeah, yoshi it's a big yoshi this time <laughs> I do like the look of that Yoshi in the background of that one picture. Though. Yeah, they I need do to like feature. That one. They need to feature Yoshi more in this. Oh wait, they're they're okay. There we go. I see more Yoshi down below. <laughs> Are they literally just using lime green for yeah, Yoshi? Yeah, looks sweet. Uh, I think so. I mean, it looks Yoshi colored. It do. It's just hard to tell what the actual color is because the kid oh. behind him has got a mm. green shirt. Well, I mean, here's a picture with just you know Yoshi. Nope, that's not what I'm doing. Stop now it. Now can we get Lego Fat Yoshi? I, I, I was going to say, yeah, there we, should be an alternate build, probably, where you don't have to build anything, just make a big Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> that new pipe element's like one of the biggest elements Lego has made in years. Yes, disturbing it's, it is. It's kind of yeah. crazy that that's a single element. Either way, I'm not huge on this concept, and I probably won't buy any sets in this style. I mean, it depends to me on how, how expensive it ends up being. I, I mean, since it's got something like 
mechanized in it, then I'm sure it's going to be pretty expensive. But I mean, like uh, this set here with the red background. I assume that's all going to be one set. That's going to be in the 30 to 40 range, I'm sure. Uh, that sounds about accurate. I mean, I can get kind of wanting these sets to play around with friends maybe once or twice but doesn't look what would you play around with your friends there's literally nothing they do besides make noise and change expression that's not gonna be very entertaining or impressive I don't... you sure yeah, there's like no dice rolling involved and it's I, it doesn't seem to be an actual game it's just you touch a color it makes an expression hmm uh, Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, it's not a game. It's just a representation of a game. It makes sounds. <laughs> it's... Thank you, Leo. I did not know it made sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. It... I don't know, it feels more like... Oh, something we played with when we were six. It do, it, that's the thing is it feels very younger child oriented an, it's not at all based on collectors it does feel like a junior set there's yeah. no box art for this is yeah. it, right but not currently no but also it's also very young kids that showing all the promotional art yeah. younger than like a lot of other lego themes are advertised with like ninjago again yeah. though i really hope that this set kind of is just a gateway to more mainstream lego hopefully and I hope that it's a gateway to Lego Legend of Zelda, which would work so well. It would, yeah. And then I mean, Lego Smash Brothers. We had the idea <laughs> set still uh, floating around for Breath of the Wild. They might, mm. they might now that well, they have that license, give that a consideration. I think they'd be less likely to. Like, yeah. Legend of Zelda. Well, if they're doing this, there's probably talks somewhere in some. Yeah. Ah, darn, what's the word? There's some talks, I'm sure, going on about Zelda. I mean, Breath of the Wild 2 coming out, you know? Hear the... me out. Lego Game & Watch. No. No? <sighs> Come on. Do you think doing, like, a Lego Smash minifigure season pack <laughs> thing would work? Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. It would I, totally not work so much too. As a set, but more like the yeah the minifigure. Just seasons. think Lego Fire Emblem. How do you pick out of what? How, how many? That would be amazing too. Um, just all, how many uh, oh, Smash? You would be able to tell the Fire Emblem characters apart though. Oh, they all got swords. <laughs> they all look the same. Except for Byleth. Just like Ninjago, we can't tell any of them apart because they all have swords. Well, maybe if it was in a pack, but like. Yeah. I thought all the ninja had at least started out with different weapons. I know, they like, they did, but, but now they all have swords. Ninja, and then there's green flavored ninja, uh, and blueberry. Yeah, there's 74 characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate. How do you bring that on to 16? Well, you'd have to go with the, you know, original or melee is roster. Sonic, I just realized Sonic is the only character in Smash Bros. that's been represented in minifigure form. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Right, has Man, a leg up. Like a like a snake. Minifigure. Well, here's also the thing is um, it, it likely wouldn't be have the third party characters either if they did it. Yeah, because that'd be another license. Mm, oh true. no. Yeah. What would they do for uh, like we a get... Donkey Kong? You know what? We're we're gonna do, we have time left. Think, we're gonna think. do this now. Let me get a picture of the entire Smash Bros. roster. Oh uh, yeah. One more article to go through. You said all there can be. That's okay, that's that's the last one. Oh. Well, I mean, there was oh, another right. article, no. but it's had the same details essentially, just okay. more. Uh... This one only goes up to Joker, but what the heck? Joker, Joker. <laughs> Walkwind Phoenix. Herbie has a gun. Hey, listen, that's live, and Walk you know Phoenix? sometimes it ain't. Free. Oh, you guys know that the voice of Joker is the uh, same guy that does the announcer in Smash Bros, right? Oh, uh, how about that? Oh, yeah, I think you said that before. Maybe that's interesting. This I one. want Ken. This one doesn't have by well, no. What is Ken anyway? I don't know. No, because, like I said, this one only goes up to Joker, but that's the best picture I could find on short notice. Yeah. I'm glad it doesn't have Byleth. Right. Byleth is dumb. Shouldn't Dr. Mario just be a skin variant of regular Mario? Yes. No. Yes, because he, no. he's not even an Echo. For, they don't even qualify him as an Echo, though. And he's completely an Echo. No, he's, he's like unique. literally the same as Mario, only just a different, you know, aesthetic. 
No. They he qualify Krom as an Echo, even though he is more unique than Dr. Mario. And what's up with, like, White Samus and Dark Samus? That just seems a little... Okay, oh, we, we're not supposed to be having to explain the Smash, Bro, Smash Bros. <laughs> roster to you. Let's just go through these and see what we can actually do as minifigures. Diddy so... Kong and Daddy Kong. <laughs> I Wait don't a like minute! This, this no, no, no. This pic roster picture is not organized properly. Yeah, yeah, what the heck? I, it talks a little say. off, at yeah. least for me. <laughs> Doesn't it go Mario, like, Don uh, Donkey Kong? It's no. Is the Fox from Star Fox literally just called Fox? Yes. yes. Well, it's Fox McCloud. His name. Why is don't they Fox. call him McCloud then, instead of just Fox on the roster? That would look so uh, much cooler. No. Because Fox. Because everyone calls him Fox. He he is Fox. That's. That's right. how it goes. Oh, you know, you are right. It is Mario Donkey Kong. Here, let's use <laughs> this picture instead that I found off the internet. It's yeah. also very accurate, like the last one. No, this one doesn't even go up to Piranha Plant. Never mind. Imagine if you named your baby Ganondorf. <laughs> That's why he turned or, out evil, let's wolf. face it. <laughs> Imagine if you named your kid Wolf. <laughs> Well, if your kid was a Actually, furry, you'd he would probably thrive in certain niche Imagine, social circles. Imagine uh, I if you made a wolf so once, and then he turned into a Satanist. So technically, wolves are like last. Yeah, wait, names. no, wolf is an actual. No, there are people named Wolfgang. Well, Again. yeah, <laughs> like how, how? Like I don't know if that's a current thing right now, but maybe if you're in, like Germany. I've known people that are named Wolfgang, and I just knew the word really? wolf. Why is it so hard to find a picture of the roster? <laughs> Go get your Switch I mean, and I, take a picture. Imagine if you named your kid Meat and then Gunner. I have, it's not easy to get pictures off a of Switch. Well, uh, I'm, wait. That's why. Okay. Can't you just take screenshots? You can, but getting the screenshot off and onto your computer is not easy. Like, what? Don't you just use like a USB stick or something? No. What about like? just bluetoothing it or whatever no emailing it no how do you do it basically got to send them to twitter first <laughs> really and log into your twitter account each time that seems awfully inconvenient yep yeah it is how do people like get make uh like gameplay videos of it though like if they're making a review of something in smash oh. you use uh, a screen recording chip where you hook up the hdmi to one end and then it goes into the tv after that and then it goes another usb that goes out and you plug into your laptop i thought like, nintendo it. would be more like compatible with other you stuff. can record clips but only clips and they're not hmm. <laughs> and again you have to get them to twitter pretty much Dang it. Google Images really sucks. I can Dang never it. find what I want. <laughs> this is so weird. That's like now that's like a major like detriment to me getting this switch now because it's like I like <laughs> like I love playing games where I can or just doing stuff where I can like quickly take like a really high res sc screen cap or screenshot and just immediately. Oh, you can do that. Well, no, but like just and just immediately sh like share it on any platform. You can do it on Twitter. <laughs> No, not just on Twitter, but just like, you know, I want to have it on my phone well, if so I can you like, use it. Put it on Twitter, or... then you'll have it on your phone. And then when you have know, it on but your then, phone. But like, sometimes the quality gets all screwed up. Well, that's your own. No, I want a Kirby minifigure. How would that work? Yeah, we'll get... that... I don't know. It would be atrocious, and I am Imagine down for it. Imagine if you named your kid Villager. <laughs> Imagine if you named Villager. Imagine, Imagine if you, if you named your kid Orion. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what imagine is naming a child imagine naming your kid a child all right fine this one is gonna skip out on all the dlc but this is the best picture i can find <laughs> donkey kong <laughs> why is this so hard google is an awful company why is chris playing donkey kong <laughs> no. That's not. No. <laughs> oh, it's a me, Mario. <laughs> All right. Bruh. All right. So let's go through these and see which ones would actually make good minifigures. So Mario would be fine. Yep. Donkey Kong would have to be a big fig, so he's basically trash. But, wait, <laughs> there's the um Gorilla Grodd big fig. So couldn't they? You could do a big fig, yeah, but you couldn't do it in a minifigure series. Yeah, no, you couldn't. So what about like? Jigglypuff, or is that just out? We'll of the get question? to that. We have to go in order. Link would be uh -oh. easy. 
Yeah, Link would be easy. Samus, Samus and Dark Samus yeah. actually be really cool. Yeah. That would be Dark super Samus. cool and super easy because you could just do the shoulder things as like an attachment to the helmet. Yes. Right? You wouldn't even have to do them technically. But you could. But they're like you the iconic off... thing. Yeah. Well, it depends on which version. If it's the earlier game version, then you just have the pointy shoulder well, pads no, anyways. Like, just the most iconic version. Yeah. I mean, Yoshi could be a minifigure. How? He just needs like the like the, the ducks Yoshi... in the Disney series with the tails. Yoshi would what, what, so Yoshi would stand upright. A tax evader though. Yoshi does stand upright now these days, Leo. Yeah, but he has that slope in the back. Yoshi. Not yeah, anymore. He's got bad posture. Yoshi? Oh. Yeah, Yoshi stands up straight these days. Oh, man. Yoshi has been improving on things. He bought one yeah, of those posture correction backpacks. Yeah, see, this is the Yoshi's posture these days, Leo. Oh, you're right. How about that? Yoshi. He's also... very proper. Look at that. Yoshi. Chest out. Yoshi. Wowie. Kirby uh, could, not, could not be a mini. It would be monstrous. Easily. How would, it would you be make glorious. That a minifigure, though? He doesn't have any arms. He doesn't I have know. any head. <laughs> Imagine just get making neck. a Kirby minifigure. Just well, if he had arms, he could still do the arms. You know, like with SpongeBob, where they just have the thing that goes over the minifigure body. <laughs> but then... <laughs> but the, Are you feeling some... it now, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if they just molded a special Kirby piece, though, to stick in short legs. But uh, part of Kirby's <laughs> design so is essential that every shape is just, like, pretty much round. round. Like, his feet are round, his arms are round, his self well, is round. That's because Kirby was designed to be easy for people to draw. Well, that's I mean, because I've still he seen is kids easy. kids screw it up. Freaking worthless <laughs> kids can't freaking do anything. <laughs> but then we have Fox. Fox would be an easy Fox? one. The thing is with the Star Fox, they're like all anti-furries where they cut off their animal legs and replace them with human <laughs> legs to become more human-like. So they're like human the furry equivalent of humanies, then? Or the Actually, humanies? yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't weird, like this. Like, reverse moral implications. Don't like this. But you, you know about that with Star Fox, right? Where literally they've all chopped their legs off and replaced them with robotic legs. I don't think any of these games had, like, much story to them. <laughs> This is why you're not a video game. Yeah. This is a newer version, but yeah, you can still see it. Yeah, like, look at... You know, so they all have the same feet and legs. Is it canon that they've cut off their yes. legs? Yes. It's because of the legend that you can uh, withstand more G-Force if you don't have your legs. But the thing is, without legs, you have less blood anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. So they did it for nothing? Yeah. <laughs> they did well, it they're... to become more human, <laughs> That's okay? That's retarded. Yeah, but they look really cool. Actually, when I look up the Star Fox team, someone made a mock-up of Star Fox's minifigures, which is a little bit creepy, but actually shows how it could easily work. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's not bad if it's, like, more... Yeah, that's... I mean, hmm. I think... Oh, the you are, like, shout out to you. Everything your pictures looks in the pretty video. good for what it is, you know? But yeah, Star Fox easily could be a minifigure. And then Pikachu, uh, would, I don't think, could be a minifigure. I can. Uh, I, I can. I don't want to voice this thought. Do it. Uh, I if could go. He could, we have like those dog things, the weird dog minifig things. Like oh, the, no. Like the ex <laughs> almost mean... the accessories. Like reskin one of those. Well, Pikachu, things. yeah, basically have to be his own mold. Yeah, yeah. So basically, he's worthless to us. Luigi, I, Luigi would be easy again. Ness would be like super easy, like offensively yeah. easy. <laughs> he's like already in, like a minifigure, basically. That's actually even has the same eyes as a minifigure. Ness <laughs> has fallen into the river in Lego City. Hey, Captain Falcon, that would also be an easy yeah. one. Or yes, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. You, you, nope. You'd have to do the Kirby thing, which is not happening. <laughs> It's not practical. Peach and man. Daisy, uh, again, easy. You could use that new dress slope piece for Which them. Which one does Mario? Actually, no, like not really, most? because they don't have that type of dress. Yeah, they've got Which one is of what? Puffy dress. Which one is Mario more into? Peach or Daisy? Peach. Uh, it's Luigi well, who likes Daisy. Come on. Uh, and Mario, uh, okay. Sometimes. Has anything. But... I thought anything, like, Luigi what? was an incel or something. No. <laughs> no. They're both terrible womanizers. They're both simps. What does that mean? 
<laughs> I'm not going to ask. You don't know what that <laughs> means? Oh, no, second. we're moving on. Bowser would also have to be a big fig, so that's not happening. I am C. If anyone cared about the ice climbers, they could be Stupid mini figures. Stupid ice climbers. <laughs> Long the Leo, you have like some really movies. illogical grudges here. Look, Melee was a strange time for me, okay? <laughs> Sheik and Zelda, again, easy enough. Yeah. Dr. Dr. Mario, Mario is enough. just Mario, only yeah. on drugs. It's just Mario's a doctor. Ice <laughs> climbers would be pretty cool. I like this. I'm <laughs> kind of behind you. You're sadistic. Oh, a peach, you that again. wasn't me with a daisy. That was a Dr. Mario. <laughs> this is another relation to me. I love you, peach. <laughs> How about no? Ryan doesn't even know about Pauline. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Who's Pauline? Is that, like, is that Luigi? That was Mario's original Daisy girlfriend. Or something with this Pauline? No. Broad? And Donkey Kong, Mario's girlfriend, is Pauline. <laughs> what yeah, about Mario. Candy Kong? That's Donkey Kong's girlfriend. <laughs> Dang it. Mario's, no, wait, no, like, no. Mario's like not for much yeah, longer. Yeah, yeah. I can't keep track of all these donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one donkey. I. I know. Could I you not get stolen by a donkey for once? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense in the context From of the contract. Yeah, you but you just like, get stolen by a donkey. Because, <laughs> like, in Donkey Kong, the princess gets kidnapped by the donkey, Donkey Kong. Just, just, just quit. <laughs> quit now. <laughs> so, yeah, Pichu is also worthless. Falco is fine. Marth, again, it would be a good one you could do. You could even give him a cloth cape, and that would be cool. Lucina, that's just Marth as a girl. It's just Marth. And it's <laughs> just a slight I could explain difference. the whole story context, but there's, like, a really cool thing in the story, actually, and I can't spoil that. Quiet, you nerd. Because we're all going to play this game. Well, I mean, I Eventually, might. yes. No. I'm going to make people play Fire Emblem Awakening eventually, because it is the, one of the best video games ever made. What if we don't like it, though? <laughs> I'm nervous. Then, then he'll disown you. <laughs> About... Huh? Young Link again, one easy to do. Young Link. Ganondorf. No, Bink. Young Link is the best Link in Ultimate, actually. Bank mm -hmm. Young Link. Because they nerfed Link, getting rid of the hook shot and everything with the Breath of the yeah. Wild stuff. And Young Link still has that, and Young Link has flaming arrows, so he's the best. And his attacks are way quicker. He's way quicker. Yeah. So there's no competition, really, between him and mm -hmm. Link. Unless and... you're a garbage player. <laughs> You know, plus Young Link has a cool hat. A very cool hat. So then next up we've got Ganondorf. He could easily be one. What about Mewtwo? I'm conflicted. No, I feel like you could just repurpose one of the molded heads from Mewtwo, though. It would like, be weird, I feel though. Like Mew if you have, Mewtwo like, boxes, I feel like Mewtwo head. is humanoid, though, because he yeah, has hands but, and everything. But, mm -hmm. but there's this shaping to it that you expect from that the minifigure well, wouldn't really use the same sort of molding well. that you do for female characters, where you just have them like a weird contour. <laughs> no, that's she's right, you know. I mean, yeah, but ah. Uh, <laughs> no, I think Mewtwo could be. It would have one. to have weird just legs. Give him a molded head and a tail. But you also, like it, especially molded legs. The question is Mewtwo. A you wouldn't girl. have to have molded legs, just half legs. You sure? Because yeah, aren't Mewtwo's legs like strangely need? Yes, but they don't have to be. And okay, then use the gremlin legs. Yeah, use gremlin legs. Gremlin legs. And then Roy. Roy could obviously be done. So could Crom. Crom would be the best minifigure. Crom is like one of my favorite video game characters. He's up there with Layton. This is where it hurts now. Mister Game and Watch. No. <laughs> it's really it's just a plain one. black minifigure. He'd be a sticker or something. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, you'd build him. It's just brick building. I like that. I mean, yeah. I could see a brick built in, like, <laughs> a set. Humongous no. game and watch. Meta Knight would actually be a bit easier than Kirby, just because he has hands. And he has wings. wings. But I, I still wouldn't know if you could pull that off because of the shape. No. He's just a You know, you might be limbs. able to. Maybe, like, it a rock monster, almost, like, with the arms, but yeah. Ooh, yeah. I don't know. About hey, the rest of you have to use, use like the mold. rock monster build for a lot of these other guys instead of big figures, couldn't you? No, because they no, have to be big. Not really. No, not necessarily. Rock monster like, Bowser. If you had like, I mean, it wouldn't be properly to scale, but you could still do like a rock monster Bowser figure, and it would still look. Wait, cool. I was being sarcastic. Oh, I all right. The rock monsters are literally the original big figs. I I know, but I mean now. like not not like the 
the big boss ones. I mean, like the smaller ones. I don't know. Bowser would be way too small. He's at least in his smallest iteration. No, I, quite I know it wouldn't be to scale, but I mean, it could still look well, really cool. The minifigure, it would, like you could, like the style, you could still make it so uh, it's a functional, interesting. Uh, We're looking like, for it, like, collectibles here. Like you shouldn't just like if it's not to scale, I don't want it. Like this like, guy it, perfectly showcases the problem with Kirby in this mock-up here. Oh no. <laughs> That's oh, cursed. Shoot. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh shoot! It looks horror, like someone horror, horror, horror. took like an animal Hello. and like turned their Tongue guts heart, inside not conceived, out. Nor named thee. It looks like so. the Danny DeVito M and M. Do you want to eat me? I still want the M and M's movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every time I see that in theaters, I'm like, man, this trailer I, is, like, way better than a lot of the other trailers I've seen. Seriously, which and, is kind of messed up. And the thing is, the Eminem's marketing is so good that you want to see yeah. this movie. And mm -hmm. it'd it's be weird. something Eminem's original like, in Hollywood, even if it it's is. Like the thing is, Eminem is, like, already products. live action as it is. And yeah. so it wouldn't be, like, that jarring thing where they translate a cartoon yeah. to live action. It's so weird, though, yeah, how, like, your marketing is, like, one of the better marketings for big mm -hmm. brand companies. I don't know how they do it. It's it's good. It's but Yeah, the Eminem movie would be so great. <laughs> just take the original be. premise from the trailer and just expand on it, like, and make the yeah. You know what the trailer better. should be? It's literally the exact same trailer, but there's no phone. <laughs> no, there's That's still the a phone, but then there's a release date at the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they, see, they don't even have to do Does he still say, this show. is why we don't make movies? Yeah, because that's... Yeah. This, no, yeah. that's that's part this of is the why movie. we make movies. Yeah. This is why we don't yeah. make movies. And then it zooms in on his face and he goes, unless... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But actually... <laughs> and then the whole theater erupts in applause. You know? There are tears <laughs> shed at that what moment. What if I made a, a fine, an Eminem movie? Finally I just a movie kidding. to surpass and the box office. <laughs> Get I'm Mark. still. That's gotta happen someday. Get Mark I'm Ruffalo as the green M. <laughs> Wait, isn't the green M M, &M a girl? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving forward, we've got Pit and Dark Pit. Those could be done easily. <laughs> well, <laughs> Zero Suit Samus. <laughs> Warrior would actually be a bit harder to pull off because would you give him shorter legs or mid-sized legs, or do you? No, give him the Rock legs? Monster build. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, okay. I mean, it would give him full access to a jaw, you know? Yeah. And, and then jowls. Snake. The snake would snake be... obviously could work, but it, I no one would ever release the rights to make a mini snake minifigure. <laughs> yeah. What, can uh, we, can I, we I get can't... the Death Stranding minifigure? <laughs> I can't look at Snake anymore. Why? Why? No, I, I, Snake is great. He's fantastic. Just my sibling showed me a, one of the things that the voice actor did. Oh, and no, I can't I, look at the no, character. No, the meme? That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> that they one. I don't know what you're talking about. Dang. Then we've got Ike. Ike could obviously yeah. be done. He'd have a really cool sword piece. Ike has a cool sword. He does? Yeah. yeah. They all have swords. <laughs> is he from Fire Emblem? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. That's why he has a sword. No, well, I, I didn't know he was from Fire Emblem. This is why Meta Knight is also from Fire Emblem. <laughs> Link from Fire Emblem. Oh. Legend of Fire Emblem, you know? But no, Ike has a really cool sword. Just look at this sword. Suave? Yes, I, I know. That I've is been a on, sweet sword. I've been on the receiving like, uh, end of that board. That looks yeah. like Tahu's yeah. sword from 2015. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, someone did a cartoon version of it here. I'm not going to post it because it has a watermark on it, but... Oh, well, I'm not going to post it for the audience. It looks like something from Monog here. <laughs> Monog mm. 2. That looks very uh, Breath of the Wild-ish, kind of. Mm. Mm. Not really. No. Alright. Pokemon Trainer, that's another one you could do easily. But what about the Pokemon I that are involved him, with the Squirtle. You can give him, like, one, like, Ike, you could give, like, a, just a Squirtle molded figure. You know, like the Lego Squirrel, but Squirtle. <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> Squirrel, Diddy squirrel. Kong. I don't know if Diddy Kong would work. Oh, there's a monkey mold already. What about the Diddy Kong? And pack? that wouldn't work though. You'd, if you made him a, a minifigure with short legs, would that be too far? No. I feel actually a minifigure with short legs probably could work. The more I think about it. Yeah, I, I think that you know short legs. He, he'd be kind of like the uh, triplets, ducks, uh, for Disney. Yeah. Almost, but. So Diddy yeah, Kong. Diddy Kong could work. Yeah. 
Lucas, unfortunately, we cannot get until Nintendo releases Mother 3 <laughs> in the West. <laughs> yeah. Sonic has a minifigure. Wait, hold on. Mm-hmm. That's weird. On. Let me say this. King DDD. Okay. No. You did not no. need that. No. King, 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 King. King DDD is actually probably one of the hardest to do here because I couldn't even see a big fig working with King DDD. What about Rock Swole DDD? Monster. He's too shapely. What about, like, what they did with. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, that's hard. Yeah, King DD, the thing is because he's a penguin shape, you know, like a the pear big shape. The figs are like, he's... don't even resemble Lego at that he's point. beautifully shaped. Yeah, so I don't know if King DD could be made regardless. The ideal male body. <laughs> it is, though. The thing is that if you guys are content with them not being exactly to scale, I mean, they could do an improved version of what they did with, uh, who was it, Bomber, the really fat uh, dwarf in the, yeah. uh, the Lego set? Okay, that is true. Oh, yeah, that could work. That is possible. Like, well, the thing like, is, you have to also doesn't have legs. You have, yeah, you have to be content with it not being to scale, though. Well, Bomber... So. It's not just scale, though, at that point. King D doesn't have Bomber legs. Bomber didn't really have well, legs, just... either, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> just give him, like, short legs and put flippers on him or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Alomar would be a cool mini. How would Alomar work? Just well, like the, well, we already have a helmet yeah. piece from Mysterio. Like, like, yeah. But Would it be like just, the Sandy minifigure or something? It's just the minifigure head, the helmet, and two legs. There's no torso. How? That wouldn't even work, though. I know. And, of course, Alf. That's another thing is Dr. Mario is his own character, but Alf is not. Alf doesn't even get to be an Echo <laughs> for some reason. He's just another skin for Alamar for whatever reason, and it bugs me. That's because I, I think he's the only one bugged by this. Pikmin. Alf is the only one who is literally another character name, but he's just a skin. <laughs> he's not an Echo, which is weird. Right. Moving on, Lucario. He could probably be a if, mini if figure. If you can do Mewtwo, you can do Lucario. Yeah. Lucario doesn't even have a tail, so. <laughs> Rob. Ugh. I don't... He definitely couldn't be a minifigure. I mean, he, you could brick build Rob easily, almost, I'd feel. But not, You could do, like, like a, a droid kind of build for him, like for Star Wars, couldn't you? You need a lot of new parts, I think. Yeah, but it would still... That would still look good than just, like, making him in the traditional minifigure kind of... There's build. absolutely no way to make him a traditional minifigure. Mm. So, Yeah. Well, Next up, Toon Link, uh, obviously just the same as the other Links. Except better. Same with Wolf. Yeah. Villager would also translate very easy. Again, he'd need a specialty molded head, but... How would his head mold be different from Ness's? Yeah. It's the same shape. No, no, it's very different. <laughs> Ness has more... Villager has a much bigger head. They, but... they look very similar in the... In the like, place. yeah, like... The Villager's has at least they twice are, the diameter They are very of different Nesses. on the battlefield. <laughs> Yes, they're different on the battlefield, but aesthetically speaking... Aesthetically like, on the battlefield, they're different. Uh, just as, as a minifigure head, the villagers wouldn't look right with their will. Nessus would look fine with a minifigure head, the villager would yeah. not. I, I feel like you're particularly biased here. <laughs> but Earthbound and Animal Crossing are both some of my favorite games, oh, so... he's right, he's right. Right. Mega Man would make a really cool minifigure, and that's, again, an easy one to You just need a helmet. Did we have a Mega Man idea set at some point? I, like I feel it like if, we might have. If they did a minifigure for him, I'd like it if they made, like, his arms kind of more cony looking <laughs> Well, I oh, mean... Oh, you mean, like, do a specialty they arm? Had yeah, they could. They have those, They so. could do that, or they could give him, like, a gauntlet piece. Yeah. Yeah, they do have those, actually, because of, like, the robot arm. Mm-hmm. I think that's only, like, the right arm that has that. Is that the but they, the they could definitely arm? do something... But I mean, you could just flip it around to turn it trainer, to a left arm. Though. Yeah. Well, no, you can't just flip it around because then the elbow would be facing the wrong way. Well, maybe he doesn't have the right elbow, okay? We fit trainer. We Someone fit wanted trainer. that. That could be done. That is... That's Same with Rosalina. Little Mac, Little Mac, you don't even actually need any new pieces. Like, all the pieces for Little Mac already yeah. exist, so you just need the right colors. Honestly, yep. if they made a minifigure for Little Mac, I wouldn't even know it. I would just say, oh, it's a boxer figure. What's Little Mac from? What? Punch Out. Punch Out. Punch My out siblings got Mike really Tyson. into that game for, like, three months. It was amazing. <laughs> Were they punching everything they could? <laughs> Greninja, I don't. It feels he's like much lankier than the I can't even tell what that is from the photo. I don't know what is that. Here, let me get a picture. I can't even tell what that is. 
No, it's like, what is it? He's, it's a frog Pokemon. Don't send me a picture of just Lloyd the Green Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Could I be the Green Ninja? That's so friggin' weird. Frog lad. Is it a Pokemon? Yes. Yeah, it's a Pokemon. Everything's a oh. Pokemon. Is that his tongue? Oh, yes. Or, yeah. Why is he wearing it like a scarf? Because he's all weird. all the saliva that just be dripping down your throat. No, because at that point, if you're... Tongues oh, out for long just... enough, it will have dried out by then. So uh, then, imagine how like gross and chafed it is. <laughs> chafed tongue. I don't see yeah. it. <laughs> tongue man. There's no Palatina tongue. could be done. Now Pac Man. He doesn't have the same issue as Kirby because he has arms and legs. Give him the Rock Monster build. <laughs> I'm serious. Ryan, you're saying this like the Rock Monster build is actually a thing. Give Robin the Rock Monster build. <laughs> The wool. The Rock Monster Mill is literally a just thing. a special mold. Make it a thing. Yes, and then Robin, also one of my favorites. He could easily be a minifigure. All the anime Shulk, ones. same thing. Bowser Jr. probably could We're work. already getting brick built. Bowser Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Duck Hunt. That would need a special mold, probably. Mm -hmm. That. For the dog, I feel like or if you tried duck? to make him a okay, minifigure. Okay, technically, you could look make look like, a minifigure for the dog. He'd look like Goofy. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Ken, Ryu, and Cloud, all third parties that wouldn't be made in the actual Nintendo series, but could all work. Corrin would work fine. Bayonetta, no one needs that. <laughs> Splatoon is actually like a highly requested theme. It would, I think that, the colors are mainly why. Like there were several really good Splatoon yeah. editions. Mm -hmm. Submissions to Lego Ideas. I can't recall those. So, yeah, that would work fine. Ridley... <laughs> Would not work as a mini figure. Nope. I don't. What is that? I can't tell from the picture. It's a space dragon. Space dragon. So. Oh, okay. Here, here is a picture of Ridley. I'm not even gonna look. It put this on the podcast because everyone else knows what Ridley looks like except for uh, you. <laughs> that would not work. He could be brick built. You can but... make him a Bionicle. <laughs> you can, you could, they could bring Bionicle back. Simon Richter. They would work. King K. Roll. Technically, you could make a mini. Just make him. Chima. Make a mini figure. Make him with a Vok monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they already even have crocodile heads, so yeah. You just He's need so to add, like, the dwarf belly from Lord of the Rings, <laughs> with the crocodile head from Chima. So, you know that the, <laughs> that, you know that Bomber's figure. belly was part of his beard, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we'd have to do some alterations. Some heavy alterations. We'd have to combine the two molds, like, well, we're oh, never no. you reusing these. <laughs> Oh no! Then he couldn't turn his head, though. Isabel would work fine, though. I'm sick of her. <laughs> I'm very glad that Tom Nook took back the Animal Crossing Twitter account. That was a great day. <laughs> Why Incineroar. are you? Incineroar. What? What? He's so aggressive. I didn't know that you. Isabel, they, when Isabel's only ever been in one Animal Crossing game, basically, uh. and they decided for some reason to make her the face of the series. It's dumb. Which but is isn't really that annoying. Everyone yeah. Liked her? In, She's a dog. Yeah, we, How come you basic, don't like her? Because he doesn't she like brings blondes. nothing to the table, and there's better things, or better characters in the series, like Rossetti, who was nerfed, and Tom Nook. Yeah, Tom See, Nook Tom Nook is be. the real face of the Animal Crossing series. Who's Tom Nook? He's, he's, the, the, one, he's the raccoon lad. Overlord. Uh, I think I've seen him, yeah. He's yeah, the one who enslaves you. Into... Even Orion has seen him. Yeah. Even Speedwagon is afraid of him. He doesn't look as, like, cute and marketable as Isabella, though, so I kind of... Well, now they are using him, which is why I'm glad. Oh. He looks like Splat Tim in a furry <laughs> some suit. Some of the... Ar and here's how you know he's good. Like, some of the article types here. Tom Nook is an evil capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> Does Tom Nook do his taxes? Probably. Oh, yes. He collects taxes. Oh, yeah, it looks perfect. like he's... In that photo, it looks like he's bathing in, like, a... A bathtub full of those green verd or you're referencing a picture I can't Taco actually put Bell in the podcast size. Packets. I don't know who owns it. <laughs> Credit it to Taco Wait. Bell. <laughs> so, and then Incineroar. I don't think Incineroar is really cared Incineroar? about enough even the Pokemon community. I don't think so either. I feel like even within his own generation, not that many people cared about him compared to other Pokemon. And I don't know why, why he Lego like... Mies would be weird. Is the plural Pokemon? It's Pokemon. It's the... <laughs> like I'm so it's not even Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Pokemon. It's Japanese. 
Ocean. Yes, it means pocket monster. Boki, pocket, mon, monster. Right. All right. Yada, yada. So that's all of them, and <laughs> I actually filled the Wait, rest of our runtime. Wait, me time. brawler, me brawler. I already talked about. I said Lego Mies would be really weird. Yeah, that's why it would be good. <laughs> what about no? What about Lego Banjo Kazooie? How would you make that work? Oh man, that would be cool. You can make that work. Third That'd party work though. As a minifigure. Yeah, it is third. No, yeah, I think Banjo Kazooie is a first party game. Still, honestly, does it? What not. does it count as? It is third party because it's rare. It's just rare worked so closely with Nintendo for such a long time. And developed because like Rare made Diddy Kong and King K Rule, but those are actually owned by Nintendo. Mm. Well, as Banjo Kazooie, though originally Nintendo platform exclusive, it still was Rare owned. So now Microsoft owns them. Where's Waluigi? Yeah, Waluigi would actually be hard to make a minifigure, especially since they got rid of the Woody legs and why the new Woody sucks. Yeah, they would. I forgot uh, well, they got rid of that. I mean, that's why he got coronavirus, but I think uh, <laughs> Waluigi would be interesting if they did, like, the big mustache, if it, like, actually went out and wasn't a print. Big. <laughs> big. Uh, all right, and that's going to do it for us today on the BCC podcast. Uh, I'm a number kind one. Hurry and Yeah, <laughs> we kind of went off the rails here, the Smash Bros. minifigure thing, but there's a much more interesting topic than the news anyways. <laughs> So leave your thoughts on that in the description below if you think we are right below. or wrong about any of the minifigures. Yes, the description. Which means the comments. <laughs> Not the comment section, because we don't have that anymore. No, that's going away anytime. Also, we have a Discord service. You can join that for Lego discussion there. And uh, we don't have a Patreon, and we... We don't really do anything else. Our Twitter's kind of there, so you can follow that. They follow us we, on Twitter. We still have a Facebook. No, we got rid of No, Facebook. actually, it's we got Fa- rid of Facebook. Facebook yes. is for boomers. <laughs> yeah. Which is why... <laughs> our, Facebook was, <clears throat> our Facebook page was absolute garbage anyways. We know. Like, complete and utter flaming garbage. We know. And it always had been. <laughs> we know. So it's gone now. I... I are you done? Yeah, I don't know. It's not like we're on Instagram or anything. Well, we I imagine if we had a BCC Instagram <laughs> account. If we went to more conventions and stuff, that'd be worth it. But it's not worth it for like well, Brick Fair once a year. What would you even post on Instagram for this? Thing? I have an like, Instagram. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, if we actually did more stuff for like going to Lego conventions more often and stuff, you'd have a, things to post on Instagram. Yeah, and you're an artist, oh, Linda, okay, so okay, you always have okay, things to post, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I, there aren't always good things. Oh. But I always have them. <laughs> you have to be careful what right, I post. Alright, and as always, remember to like and more importantly, share the video with your friends to grow our audience. Because the only way it'll ever grow is by word of mouth. YouTube hates our guts. <laughs> we have guts. And for Ford, who's not here, <laughs> Leo, Malaris, oh, Linda, no, and Orion. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode. Is it also for Mace? Ha <laughs> <laughs>